JS is uh JS made a video, I'm assuming out of frustration, um, you know, whatever. Doing her thing. That's fine. People kept asking me, Papa, what do you think about this? I gotta be honest, I don't think much about it. I don't care. Um, I'm not trying to be rude. But you know, let's 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 play listen to it. I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna give you my honest thing, and then we're gonna watch uh, Freak the Gemini stuff. And uh bada bing, bada boom. All right. I swear to God, nothing gets on my fucking nerves more than when women talk about how they're scared of men. You know, scared. Exactly, of women are so stupid. Fucking women always talk about men. Shut up, women, idiots. Um, you can see Freak actually uh, was talking in here. Um, whatever. Anyway raped kidnapped or murdered because that shit happens okay and then boys are like mm, but not all men not all men are like no shit kyle we obviously know not all men are like that but it's enough there's enough men acting like creeps that it scares all women and when you don't defend women they just think that you're a part of the creeps so if you don't want that to happen, you're going to have to start calling out dudes for their shitty behavior. Because I promise you, Kyle, I promise you that no girl is going to want a bitch who says not all men. They want somebody who's going to fucking stand up for them. Sort of Whoa, sexist. Women don't need men. All right. So first and foremost, uh, I understand what she's trying to say. Like, hey, listen, like women uh, experience, you know, we'll say oppression from men. Right. Some men put that put that in there for context, right? Um, you know, women are raped; they're at a greater like you know chance of getting being the victims of violence from men because women just at the end of the day are physically inferior to men or weaker. I don't want to say inferior. Right? I don't think that women are inferior overall. I just, they are physically inferior, weaker, whatever you want to say. The problem with this is like this overgeneralization. There's a couple problems. With it. First and foremost, like if you're if you are trying to make a video to educate, you've already failed, right? So it, I would assume that you're really just trying to make a video to like to hit. Uh. Secondly, saying all men are like predators uh. has the very as a very which is what you're defending has the same energy as uh, saying all black people are like violent, you know, like the overgeneralization. Um, the message isn't palatable. There's it's there's nothing positive here. Um, like, what are we doing here? If you're like, hey, women experience a disproportionately higher amount of violence from men. And I think that men need to be better and calling out other men. That's a good message. But when you're like, hey, all men, fuck you, Kyle. Everybody raped me. And it's like, what the hell is going on right now? Right. Like your intent, your intention here is to be antagonistic. Right. Um. Yeah, so, you know, you've kind of failed at, like, displaying your message. Um, yeah, you've, you've kind of failed at displaying your message here. It's my thing. Um, I get it. It got, like, a lot of views and stuff. And, you know, I guess people get carried away, and I don't know. Maybe she just did that because she was getting frustrated. She was tired of seeing someone named Kyle to defend shitty actions whatever. Uh, but I, I just overall disagree with the video. Maybe I'll make something. It's me. I'm Kyle. <laughs> Maybe I'll make a video on it. I don't know. But what kind of bothers Feels, me... I got a... Uh, what bothers me is like this vi video. She's referring to... Here, let's watch. One of my recent videos, I got a, uh, a mixed bag of reactions. So I think it's probably a good idea to go over some self-defense tips that I know. If anybody... She... That's annoying. Like, you know she's talking about that video. She's like, hey guys, I made a video uh, basically defending the all men are shit narrative. So I'm going to teach you how to fight just in case... Um, a man tries to rape you. Um, it's like uncomfortable because it's just doubling down on like the the bad. It's just like doubling down on like the shitty. I don't know the shitty narrative. Um, also, like no offense, because I like JS as a person. I think she's she's nice. She's a cool person. You know, she's she's young. She's struggling with her own shit. I understand. Like, uh, fame can be very um, mentally draining. Um. But like, you know, your content pretty much is like unverified Reddit facts. And so now we're teaching self-defense. Uh, maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe if Fezzik continues, she'll, we'll, she'll tell us like, yeah, I'm a martial artist. I, I tend to doubt it, though. <laughs> doubt it a little bit. <clears throat> Anybody ever 
or tries to like grab you by the wrist or something, pull in the direction of their thumbs because the thumb is the weakest part of the grip. If somebody ever comes up and grabs you from behind, stomp on their foot as hard as you can. Not just like their toes either, on the actual foot. Knees bend one way, okay? But if you do a swift kick to the kneecap, it's gonna bend the other way and stop whoever it is you're trying to stop. Carry pepper spray wherever you go, or if you're comfortable with it, a gun. Trust your gut. Like, trust your- What the fuck? You probably could have just went with a pepper spray and gun. Um... Intuition. If you feel like somebody has a bad vibe- These are legit? They... All right. There you go. Have a bad vibe. And if they say- Wait, trust your gut. Trust your <laughs> trust your intuition. If you feel like someone has a bad vibe, then you have- <laughs> Then they have a bad vibe, and someone says, I'm gonna hurt you. They're gonna hurt you. Hey, listen. I just want you to know. All right, let's just say, let's, Acrello, are you in my chat right now? <clears throat> Is Acrello in here? All right, Acrello's in here. So let's just say uh, I'm walking down the street and I see Acrello and I go, oh, this guy's giving me a bad vibe because he's black. Oh, he's a bad guy. This is kind of a little bit of the energy there. I understand what she's saying. Be safe. But this does kind of support, uh, support a lot of implicit bias here. Just saying. I'm just saying, that's what it is. When you apply it to everything, it's, it's not good. This is not good at all. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to hurt you. They're going to hurt you. Life is not a movie. Your best chance of survival is running away. One of my recent videos. Okay, it's just like a little victim-y. It was like, Meh. why bring up Acrylo? I don't know, because Acrylo's my friend and he's black. That's why I brought up Acrylo. Like, why do you think? You think I'm going to be like, oh, oh, oh I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. What? Uh, uh, uh. No. I was making a point. Krillo's in the chat. Krillo and JS have a relationship of sorts. And I wanted to make a point, and I wanted them to get a laugh. So I used a Krillo. Because I'm friends with him. And I'm racist. <clears throat> um, okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, whatever. Overall, I think that her video lacked presentation <laughs> it was just very divisive and like her message is to the people that she's being divisive towards and so it kind of falls short you know um that's my that's my thing so she can't hear my foot if i boots on hey, remember guys if you're gonna be a predator wear steel-toed shoes that probably wasn't a good message. Don't do anything I just said. Ignore what I just said. Um, okay. Anyway, let's see what Freak the Gemini. So Freak, Freak said, hey, Papa, can you go? Well, he didn't say Papa. He said, Papa, beat the fuck out of those dogs. Now, Freak was just like, hey, can you take a look at my stuff? So I'm going to take a look at it. I might actually make a, a video on it on TikTok. Uh, let's watch Freaks. I'm scared of being raped. <laughs> or murdered because that shit happens okay and then boys are like mm, but not all men not all men are like no shit kyle the goofy alert you guys keep tagging me to <laughs> i just love the goofy alert shit that he says it always makes me laugh dude <laughs> speak on this even though it keeps getting removed so i'm gonna try one more time best luck hear me out yes i know there are more men that do these actions than women as a victim myself i know how it feels when people downplay your trauma but when you say all it looks like a heart. Whoop, whoop. Oh, it's common sense. Probably Someone's going to defend themselves because they do not want to be generalized. I was all right. burnt and abused by my babysitter from the age of four to eight. You don't see me generalizing all white women because of it. I set my homeboy up and now he in a coma. You don't see me blame every female for that. People in your comment section saying men can never face what females go through and that's just cap. Yes, boys should be more sympathetic to female issues on TikTok, but it should go both ways. Stop the oppression race. Yeah, that's fair. There's nothing wrong with what he said. He's got a good point. I would have just added in that, like, if your your message is towards the Kyles, but you're being antagonistic towards the Kyles, so why do you expect anything to happen? It's like a very classic scenario of like, oh, um, like I'm gonna try to shame you into into agreeing with me, and it doesn't really work most of the time. Most of the time, people double down. And with the weirdos. They so they say, well, not all men. When you guys focus on the technicality instead of listening and having an actual conversation, we are slow. And this is like the problem too. Because this is the same energy as like, oh, guys, like defund the police is okay. You should be focusing more of your energy 
on uh, defending the fundamentals of defund the police and not on trying to change the message, right? So the fun, let's just say I'm giving defund the police the benefit of the doubt here because it actually is about removing funds from the police, uh, which is dumb as shit. But defund the police is more about reorienting police funds to have better services like different social services, right? And so, um, you know, I myself, I'm more of a reform the police. I don't really give a shit about how much money the police are getting. I'm more interested in like remove, moving the funds in a practical way. Realistically speaking, you know, you're not going to be able to reallocate resources in like this perfect way. But anyway, so people like Hassan has said this before. It's like, oh, I myself should spend more time defending defund the police and recontextualizing it rather than saying that the messaging is poor. But the me the poor the message being poor is true. <clears throat> like, imagine I went on TikTok and I outwardly defended her perspective, like without any content. Like, yeah, guys, get oh, people are going to be like, oh, you know. Like, they, they might be more receptive to me, but, like, that's my audience. What about her audience, right? This just seems like she has a particular audience that would receive this message well. And she's just saying it because she's too comfortable in her own audience space. And out of all the things that I can say, I can say one thing is that I make my audience very uncomfortable constantly. And I don't make content for my, my audience. Um, I piss off everybody who is part of my audience, like, every day. Um, you know, I have like progressives, conservatives, I have a bunch of little shitheads. All you guys are fucking shitheads on my, on my platform. Uh, and I don't make content to make people feel comfortable to make us horny. Okay. That's probably inappropriate. Pulling ourselves down <sighs> from finding world changing solutions to the actual problem. The problem being that men are way too violent towards women, towards men and towards themselves. Goofy alert. Okay. That's like when people say my people. Hey, listen, not for nothing, but, uh, <clears throat> women are the ones that are violent towards themselves that's why all the girls got a bunch of barcodes on their arms get what i'm saying but um this we're just pissed instead it's whatever black people are all criminals when we say no not all black people y'all say yeah of course but statistically speaking no nobody likes to be generalized you say men are the problem okay so explain my trauma did a man cause the woman to do what she did to me when i was a little kid did a man cause you to kiss a straight girl without consent remove all men from the earth can you actually say there will be no crime whatsoever and wait didn't didn't jayus forcefully like didn't jayus sexually assault the girl <clears throat> I'm pretty sure Jay is like, she had this whole video about how she forcefully kissed a girl. Yeah. That is literally sexually assault. So it's like, I don't know, man. So there's another level to it. It's like, I don't know. Come on. I'm not trying to be that guy. But like, that's also like, it's a little hypocritical for you to be calling that out when you're somebody who is part of the problem. I'm not trying to be rude. Like when it comes to things of like sexual assault, I get very, very like, er. um, yeah, no, it's too much, you know? Women that are doing what they do now would stop. Can we not admit there are bad people on this earth that do not deserve to be here and try to find a way to fix it? If you made the art so that, yeah, that's like the big problem here. Um, is like JS is just doubling down. I'm assuming this video got removed or something, or maybe, got she, nothing or maybe she made a part two kidnapped or murdered because that shit happens, okay? And then boys are like, mm. <laughs> Did she make a part two? One of my recent videos, psychology training. I hate it when I sh these fun f now for I swear to God nothing gets on my they're scared of men you know weirdos yeah. they say well yeah no I uh I don't know yeah who's Ariel Ariel Wait, you're deleting your own own comment. Keep deleting comments, keep spreading lies, keep missing comments. the point. I'm still because you're uh, getting hell of hate in all of them. Every time you comment, you're getting hate. Then you're bragging about, oh, my followers are up. I'm superior. You're giving me supremacist vibes. Calm down, baby. <laughs> then you delete your video. Put it back up. <laughs> Goofy alert. You're deleting your own. Oh my god. <sighs> what a fucking idiot. I was. <sighs> That's some that's some that's some shit, right? See, that's where it gets like really fucked. It's like it's like, hey, uh, like this. Keep deleting. First of all, I guarantee you that Freak the Gemini is not deleting comments. Like Freak would never delete. Con like he just wouldn't do that. Like I just don't see that Freak is a is a pretty strong individual. Um, I just don't understand. <clears throat> um. Yeah, no. Read her Twitter. I might weigh in on this on like like live. Mm. 
the hell was that, Krillo? You made me go to this for this? The fuck is this? I'm just kidding. What else? Eight years old when I learned. Oh, it's a promoted tweet. Anxiety, like. Do I have a doppelganger out there kissing girls and people think it's me? Well, that's a weird statement. Not even going to get into that. Uh, what is happening here? Then I wake up in the morning. The boys are mad at me for saying something completely true. And it's satirical, but also stupid. Isn't Kill all men should not be a thing, but anybody with some common sense and half a brain would know that it's satirical, but also stupid. In most scenarios, women are just talking about their statistically valid experiences and feelings towards men and how they have to take precautions. No offense, but oftentimes when people talk about kill all men, they bring up this statistic that says one in five women are raped, which is untrue. Uh, it's completely debunked, incorrect, and based on a two college campuses and also it's one in five women will face uh, some kind of sexual assault not even assault like uh, as far as like unwanted touching or kissing right so yeah no like what you're saying is wrong what you're saying is 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 the is wrong um here Obviously, guys don't want to be associated with the weirdos. They say, well, not all men. When you guys focus on the technicality instead of listening and having an actual conversation, we are slowing ourselves down from finding world-changing solutions to the... All right, no, no. Um, so, okay. What I find interesting here is that she said, kill all men, and then she said, we have to listen to it. Like, I don't understand. There's never anything there. What it is, it's like, hey, kill all men, and then... One in five of us are raped, but that's just not a true statistic. So we're not able to have an honest conversation. Um, uh, the actual problem. The problem being that men are way too violent towards women, towards men, and towards themselves. So if you know you're not a bad guy, don't say not all men, especially if all men weren't even brought up to begin with because we're not coming up with solutions that way. I you said, for videos, dude, is this uh, we say kill all men is justifiable because we need to talk about men causing violence. Um, and then, and then the more we focus on trying to debunk kill all men, which is just satire, um, the less productive we are about finding solutions. The problem is, is that she didn't actually propose any solution. You fucking hear these dogs. So, I just don't understand. Like, we're spending so much... We're spending so much time defending shitty like mentalities like kill all men. Like, how the fuck is that helpful at all? 